Hello everyone, welcome to another game and pickup video. This will be number 19, since 19th one that I made, and I'm covering the time period between October 17th, 2023, up to December 1st, 2023. Uh, few modern titles here, more than I usually get. Uh, took advantage of a couple of uh, Black Friday deals, so um, without further ado, let's get out October's purchases first, first one. Still playing it, haven't finished it yet. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It's alright for what it is. Not really crazy about Mario Brothers games nowadays. I'm just trying to get a good spot without the glare. I guess right there is a good spot. I do like it, never played it with multiplayer yet though, and it's probably a game better suited for multiplayer, so. Next on the list, Xbox 360. Uh, Angry Birds Star Wars. I'm planning on doing a, a month for Star Wars next year. I may play this, I may not. I thought it was a cool title to uh, pick up. Now, the next one I did play and I recorded it and it's coming out very soon. Call of Duty 2 on the Xbox 360. I did like this game uh, much longer than I thought it was going to be, but I did enjoy my playthrough of it. Uh, this is better than Call of Duty for today, at least the campaign mode is. I have stopped playing Call of Duty since Ghost. I didn't like Ghost at all, so haven't played it since then. But this is really good though. Put that over there. And this one, Call of Duty 3, I haven't played it yet, but I look forward to playing it. Can't fucking wait. One of these days I'll play it. Probably not anytime soon though. Yeah, a lot of a lot of games I want to play. Uh, that does it for October. Here is uh, my purchases I made in November. November's Test Your Bits Challenge. American Gladiators won by Camp. I believe Camp won this one. Congratulations, bud. I'm always up for improving my NES collection. This was a pretty cheap one. Pretty cool title to add to the collection. I didn't really care for Joust. I didn't really care for the wall, but everything else is great. So, that was a fun month. Next one, GameCube purchase. Have a handful of GameCube games here this month. Tony Hawk's Underground. This is the best fucking Tony Hawk game I ever played in my life. It's the fucking best. Seriously. Uh, I do want to do it for the channel. Sooner than later. Came with the instruction manual. I don't know, everything just feels all sticky. I don't know why. <laughs> I hope it's not what I think it is. My god. So there you go. Came with the instruction manual. I wish games came with the instruction manuals today. We're not lucky enough anymore. Next game on the list, PS5 title. Robocop Rogue City. I heard a lot of good things about this game. I did play a little bit of it, never beaten it. I did enjoy it. I think the game's a little too slow for my taste. Uh, game's very gory. Pretty cool story so far. Heard it's very, very short. Um, back of the box says, uh, part man, part machine, all cop. Your mission, eradicate crime from the streets of Detroit. Your strengths, robotic upgrades, and the strong arm of the law. Your weapons, anything necessary. You can, you can bust people for like parking tickets and shit in this game, and you can like throw, I don't know, a chair at people. You can grab people by the throat and just throw them across the fucking floor and shit, so <laughs> it's, it's a very gory game. Pretty cool. I had to take the time to really finish it. I will do it for the channel one of these days, and I probably will some point next year. I'm not disappointed with this purchase yet. So, and I love Robocop. I even enjoyed the third one. Anyways, let me open my own list again. Uh, next one I did play. I did record, and it's coming out in January. 
That is Super Mario RPG. Uh, they took the original, which is a fantastic game, and they made it so much better. The graphics are beautiful. The uh, music is probably the best part. Battling's easier, although it's very easy in the Super Nintendo as is. Uh, it comes with two difficulties. Uh, breezy and normal. I did my playthrough on normal, and I, it was just way too easy. Uh, the only thing I'm disappointed about this game is that it is uh, there's no hard mode. It should have a hard mode. I don't know if there's any plans for a hard mode in the future, but there needs to be a, like a, a future update with the hard mode difficulty and make this game a little bit of a challenge. It's a good entry level to these kind of games. A lot of people would like it. Uh, but I'm just glad today's generation is able to play a cool game like this. Give the SNES a shot. Bits and Glory calling you out right now. Do the let's play of uh, Mario RPG. Alright, uh, next one. I said I wasn't going to get until the disc version. And that is Red Dead Redemption. I love this game. Uh... This one comes also with Undead Nightmare, so I would look at the Undead Nightmare for the channel for Halloween one of these years. Uh, I love this game. <laughs> this is one of the games I got for Black Friday. I went to GameStop, I think the day before Thanksgiving, and the Black Friday sales were going on. I'm looking for this game, so I picked it up. I'm looking, 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 I found it, I picked it up, and I'm waiting in line. A little bit of a line, and usually there's never no only line in GameStops anymore. I have, um... I'm waiting in line and I'm looking at the box and I, I noticed something was weird about it. And then I really looked. And it was Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> the covers are almost exactly alike. Uh, so I put that back. Thank God, I didn't go, thank God it wasn't my turn at the register yet or else I would have bought RDR2 again. And I saw this in the PS4 section. I was looking at the PS5, I'm stupid. But whatever. Um, Yeah, it's 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 all right. I got it for a decent price, uh, and also on Black Friday while waiting in line, I picked up Epic Mickey on the Wii. I have been eyeballing this game for a long time now, so uh, I saw it at GameStop. Not even five bucks. So um, I do want to play this game. I do want to play it. I've been uh. Looking on Makara and stuff for this game. It came close a few times to pulling the trigger. Uh, but hey, at GameStop, they had the Wii games again, so that's go that's cool. So um I picked it up, not even five bucks. Great pickup. I do have some Wii games I wanna get. Um and the rest of these next of these uh video will be all GameCube games. First one, Dragon Ball Z Sagas. I remember playing this, the Xbox version, with my brother uh, back in the day, and we loved it. Multiplayer is great in this. Uh, this is the second time I bought it for the GameCube. The first time I bought it, the asshole of Mercara, I wish I would have tested the game out first. This is why you gotta test you use disc all the time, because you never know what kind of scumbags uh, sell shit on the internet. That disc wasn't working, I couldn't get it to work. I don't know how many times I attempted to clean it. Couldn't get it to work. Uh, so, years later, I decided to rebuy it. Came with the case. And I do, and I will do this for the channel probably sometime next year. This is a good game. Well, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It goes up to, um, from the Saiyan Saga up to the Cell Games. And it's really, really cool. It's really fun. All right, next two. Shout out to TL All Star because he's the biggest Pittsburgh Panthers fan. NCAA football 2005. We need NCAA football desperately. Uh, I'm sick of this Madden shit. Uh, so here you go. Let's get this, let's get the new ones out. Come on. Let's go, EA. NCAA Football 05, I, uh, maybe I'll do a season in it, dedicate the TL All-Star. Last but not least, this one will be coming to the channel. I've been dying to play this game for a while again. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. I do have the Xbox version, the Xbox version works fine. 
Now the only problem is, if I'm ever gonna do it for the channel, I should probably do the GameCube version. I've read online that the 360 version has, um, it, um, doesn't save properly or something like that. If you play the Xbox version on the 360, so I didn't want to take any chances, so I bought it for the GameCube. Came with two discs, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, and I do have the guide for this game, I, I showed it off pre in a previous video. I think I have the guide for it. Great shit, instruction booklet and all. Uh, this game was the tits back in the day. I remember my brother, watching my older brother and his friend play this game all the time. Uh, I do believe the multiplayer is a little bit shorter than the single player campaign, but you know, for its time, it was really good. And I can't wait to fucking play this game. Maybe once I'm wrapping up the shit that I'm playing right now, I'll do it. But that does it. That's my pickups. Went GameCube overboard a little bit. Well, that's fine. I want to thank everyone for watching. This again, this is the last video of 2023. I expect the next pickup video to be in January, February, maybe. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, let me know if there's anything you liked that you saw. Or let me know if there's anything that uh, anything cool that you bought during the year. Uh, let me know. Put it in the comments. Uh, Till next time guys, I'll see you all later, have a good day, and be safe.